Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the lid switch and lock assembly in an LG washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat lead screwdriver, a putty knife, and a strap with a couple of hooks at the ends. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new lead switch and lock assembly. The lead switch and lock assembly locks the lead during the operation and communicates its status to the main control board. If the lead won't lock or the main control board is not sensing that the lead is locked and not allowing the washer to advance, the lead switch and lock assembly should be checked and replaced if needed. We need to lift up the top. I'm going to use the putty knife and we're going to insert it about six inches from the side into the seam, press it in hard and lift it up. Then we go to the opposite side again about six inches, press it in hard and slowly lift uh, the top up and I'm going to attach this holding strap so we can uh, keep it open. And I'm going to open the lid slowly and let it go. To remove the old lid switch and lock assembly, we need to take out these two Phillips screws, then uh, free the harness from these two clamps, two wire ties, and then we need to go into this uh, control panel and disconnect that plug from the control board. Let's start with these Phillips screws. Okay, so I'm going to take out these uh, couple of Phillips screws. All right. And remove this clamp. Right, let's take the harness out of this uh, top clamp and we're going to remove it from the side and untie this. Let it hang and then untie this one and also let it hang down. I'm going to put it down. Now I'm going to bring in a new one and put it in. Okay, this is a new lead switch and lock assembly. Uh, these two posts from the top bracket are going into these uh, holes here. I'm going to slightly lift this out, change the angle, and then we're going to slide it on, push it in. We can hold this from the outside. And I'm going to install this screw first. That uh, first Phillips screw goes in. All right, so we're going to install this clamp on the harness. And I'm going to run the harness above the switch. And I'm going to secure it with the second field screw. So now we're going to clamp this uh, harness in here. Then I'm going to turn the corner and uh, clamp it in here. And run it down here, and we're gonna use these ties. And the second one right here. And I'm gonna run the plug into this opening so we can uh, connect it to the main control board. All right, so now it's time to lower down the top. Right. And let's uh, close the lead slowly. 
and I'm going to lower down that uh, the top. To remove the control panel, we need to take out this uh, couple of Phillips screws uh, that holds it, one in each corner. After we remove these two bottom screws, we need to take out these three top screws so we can remove the uh, rear panel also. So I can tilt forward the control panel and then I'm going to slide this uh, rear cover panel up and we can remove it. I'm going to put it aside and we you know, lay down this control panel. Alright, so we need to uh, take this cover off in order to get uh, to this uh, connector. A single Phillips screw here at the bottom. I'm going to remove it. Alright, in order to open this cover, we're going to have to push it from this side. And then I'm going to lift the, the other end. And we can remove it. Put it down. We need to unplug this uh, connector. I'm using a flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to bring it down there and push down the locking tab and uh, disconnect the cable. So now we're going to connect the new one. And I'm going to plug it in. Route the harness into this cutout opening. So while you're holding the harness, I'm going to place the cover on. There's a four, one, two, three, and four tabs that we need to place the cover over. And then uh, press it, push it forward, and push it down so we can lock the front. Then we can secure it with this uh, single screw here. That's a Phillips screw. We're going to put that uh, screw in and uh, secure the cover using the Phillips screwdriver. Simple as that. All right, so we're going to undo this uh, wire tie. So we can free the old harness and we're going to place a new harness in and using the same wire tie we are going to secure it. Uh, at this point I'm going to push that plug into the cutout. And the harness also. Now we can put this uh, cover back on. Uh, there's uh, two tabs on each side and they will lock over those two slots here. Also two on each side. I'm going to place it on. And uh, slide it. And now we can uh, turn the cover over here and there's uh, one, two, three, four, five tabs locks into the five slots in the cabinet. Turn it over. Then I'm going to secure that uh, rear cover panel with the three Phillips screws on the top. Two more. We're going to secure that control panel. So all we need to do is uh, opening the top and remove the uh, old harness and the switch. Then we're going to unhook this strap and uh, place the top down, pull it forward and push it down to lock. Plug the washer in and make sure it runs good. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. 